This is the projected interest rates weekly report. At the opening of the week, interest rates were slightly higher than previous weeks. The Council of Development Finance Agencies says this is reflective of heightened uncertainty around the Fed's timeline for rate normalization. The Fed wants to start to raise interest rates this week, but people are uncertain that this is going to happen. There is also a lot of uncertainty in equity. Therefore, a lot of people are selling out of the equity market and buying into the bond market. According to Bloomberg, the financial select sector and exchange-traded fund targeting markets and investment firms had the biggest withdrawal since last week, since 2009. Aimed concerns at uh, low interest rates and market swings will hurt profits. This graph shows the yield curve differences from Monday to Tuesday. On Tuesday, the one-year and the five-year securities went up by a basis point. Also, the 10-year and the 30-year went up by three points. According to Fox Business, the year curve steepens a little because investors are waiting for Wednesday's meeting of the Fed's policymaking body. The Federal Open Market Committee for signs about a possible timeline for interest rate hikes. This meeting is going to determine what is going to happen with interest rates, if they are going to stay low for a little longer or finally start rising. Fox Business also said that the Fed is winding down its $4 trillion bond buying program, known as a quantitative easing. That is heightening concerns about whether the U.S. economy is strong enough to sustain growth without support. This graph shows the forecasted rates Tuesday compared to Monday. The price of the 10-year bond went up and the rate went down and there, and there was more of a sell-off of short-term bonds rather than the long-term bonds. On Wednesday, the year cold rose and steepened. Because of the news from the Fed on Wednesday, the Fed said in its statement, today that is ending its bond buying program this month. According to the Morningstar, the Fed also kept language that it will keep rates at low current levels for a considerable time. This is good news. Made this good news made the bond yield rise. And its stocks rose because of the news. The graph above shows the forecasted rates from Tuesday to Wednesday. The short term interest rates gone up a good amount, the long term rates dropped a little. This happened because of the sell off of bonds. According to Reuters, the Fed expressed confidence in U.S. recovery and said it would remain on, on track despite a slowdown in many parts of the global economy, especially Europe. Specifically, the Fed said of labor resources is gradually diminishing. On Thursday, the euro curve steepened because of the short-term bonds prices fell more than the long-term bonds. According to CNBC, bond yields sank to session lows after a report of U.S. growth was boosted into the third quarter by a surge in defense spending and a narrower trade deficit. Growth in the U.S. was high just because of defense spending. This is not how we want the GDP to rise. This graph shows the interest rate forecast from Wednesday to Thursday. The forecast one-year rates didn't change much from Wednesday to Thursday. Besides rates in year four through nine, when which went up and down because of oil prices going down. On Friday, the year curve shifted up, upward due to the Bank of Japan. According to the NASDAQ, U, U.S. Treasury bonds pulled back Friday as the Bank of Japan's surprise decision to beef, beef up their monetary stimulus boosted investors' appetite for riskier assets. When the year curve shifts upward, usually means the price goes down. The year was trading near its highest levels in three weeks. This graph shows a forecasted interest rate from Thursday to Friday. Interest rates didn't change much besides the maturity on three and year ten, which both went up. This happened because the year curve shifted downward on Friday. These two graphs show the full week. One is a year curve, and the second one is a forecasted of interest rates. In conclusion, the yield and the forecasted both went up since Monday. This is due to the meeting with the Feds.
The Fed decided to end quantitative easing, which means they will stop buying, stop buying bonds and start selling bonds. By doing this, interest rate will eventually start rising. Thank you.